Hey, yo, 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 yo. What is up, you guys? It's Cast Toy Bench here, and today we are back with another video. Alright, now today, before I start this video, I want to give a quick shout out to Savage Hood Nerfer, who um made a video similar like this, um, where he like did the review on his bed, and so I'm kind of using that idea for this video. Um you guys should check him out. He's actually a great YouTuber. He does he does lots of reviews on on nerf things, and he like does them really well. He like gets into detail. He knows a lot about what he's talking about. Like he knows what he's talking about pretty good. And um, yeah, he just got a lot of blasters. You guys need to watch his stuff. But anyway, yeah, hit the link to his channel will be in the description down below if you want to check him out. Um, anyway, now today I want to be talking about my fidget spinner. Collection. All right, I know what you're thinking. It's June, almost July. In my opinion, fidget spinners have not gone out of style. Just my opinion. Probably not true. I have no idea. Anyways, so I have I have no idea actually. My, I have a fidget spinner that is. A Batman fidget spinner, but I kind of lost it. But um, yeah, it only had one cap on it, anyways. My dad got it for me, but it was like, like I was happy like, it was a present for him or whatever. But I lost it, and I'm kind of sad. But um, yeah, I mean, it didn't spin that well anyway. But he was gonna put some oil on it, but I lost it. So anyway, um, my next fidget spinner is uh this one. So, there was a, um, this, this little kid, he came over to our house, and he, like, left it here, so, I'm calling it mine now. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next one. This one is, ah, this one, my very first fidget spinner. Now, it came... I think, okay, so the story behind this one is, um, so, like, I used to not have a fidget spinner, but then my friend, um, I don't know if he wants me to say his name, but, named Kashmir, he gave me this fidget spinner, actually, he gave me one like that, it was red, he gave me a red fidget spinner, and he said if I give him cookies every day, out of school, it was like, 35 cents and stuff, so, I agreed to it, he said every day for like a month or something, so anyways, that was my little brother, um, yeah, so I got a red spinach spinner, but then, I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I decided to trade it, because this guy had a really nice one, and, um, yeah, and it was green, so I thought it'd be cool to have a green spinner. This is our first one. It was actually... I don't know if you guys can see this. Wait, here. This one was really easy to pop out because it's cracked. As you can see. On the focus, man. Try to pull it apart so you can see, but... There, so that one's cracked. Anyway, my next one. This one is a nice one. It spins super smooth, like it's swimming so smooth. I love this one. It spins for a very long time as well. Whoops, I dropped it. So yeah, like I said, it spins like super amazing. And, um, I actually got this from a store named Ollie's, and, um, yeah, there we go. Next one, another red fidget spinner. Um, this one, paid my cousin five bucks for it, because my dad, oh yeah, I have another fidget spinner, actually. It's downstairs, but I don't want to put it in this video, because... 
it's broken. It's not a good one. Anyway. But anyways, so my dad took me to the store to get some fidget spinners. And um, after that, we had a party. You know how I said, like, we have parties all the time at our house? And um, we had a party because it was um someone's birthday, someone's birthday. We have a big family, so it's always someone's birthday, you know? But, um, yeah, it was someone's birthday. And um, my cousin, he had that. And um, I asked him if I could have it for, like, five bucks. Because I didn't feel like going to the store again to get that one. And it's been really good. And he said, he said, yes. Hey! And um, I was like, okay. But then he was about to leave. And, like, I gave it to him. And he said he'd get free at first. And then he went all the way in my, in my room. Took the next fidget spinner that I'm about to show you. He took it from me. Put it in his pocket. And then my cousin Andrew that's been on a couple of my videos. My food reviews. Um, my cousin Andrew, he he took it out of his pocket and he gave it back to me. And so I got to thank for that. Anyways, um, yeah. So there's a story behind that one. This one, I actually got with the yellow one. So I got these two on the same day. Um, yeah, I bought them both. And this one spins just as good. It's actually like, kind of like lighter if you would say. Like... I don't know. But it's really cool. And then this one. Okay, I said the next fitness winner that I'm about to show you, but he didn't steal a blue one. He stole a different one. This one I actually got today. So I got that one today. Um I actually got it from Ollie's too. Um Yeah, my uh my mom keeps going back there to get like little supplies and stuff. Um you can't do this with that one because it has like I think those are weights instead of bearings or whatever but it but like as you can see like the caps are like a little round like you can feel it in the middle like it's not like it doesn't go inside it, like you see how that how the cap goes in this cap goes out and so you can kind of tell a little bit and um yeah but it's been super smooth because of that and it really looks really sweet because of the zebra print and the thing, whatever. My last fitted spinner, I like to think that it was maybe my favorite or the best one. Best looking one, anyways. Here it is. Yep. Oops. Oh, that, man. This one is the one that my cousin stole from me without telling me. Because he said that he would trade, but not... But I said for free. I didn't say for this one. Now this one is super sweet. I got this for like ten bucks. Um. Yeah. Like the the this one. Like every time I bring it to school, kids are always trying to play with it, and they're like, "Oh, so cool." And um, yeah, it looks like Captain. Like it looks like a complete circle when you spin it. It's really sweet. I love this. Like it's just so satisfying to watch, and just um. You just spin it all, you know, and just, I just love that. There you go, guys. That's my full fidget spinner collection. This one is by far the worst. But, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you made it to the end, that is amazing. Leave a thumbs up, please. Um, thumbs up button is down below. You know what else is down below? The link to... Um, the Hoods channel will also be down below. So will, so is the subscribe button and the comment section. You know? So be, be sure to check those things out. Anyway, also my social le social media links will be in the description down below. Go, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all that good stuff. Go follow them. Add me on Snapchat and whatever. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Catch me, bitch, out. <laughs> Wait, actually, um, before I leave, I just want to show you. I told you these these two spin for a really long time. Like these other ones are stopped, but these ones are still going. All right, guys. Uh, sorry, but this is the other spinner that I said I wasn't gonna put in the video. But I'll just show you guys. It'll just spin them because, as you can see, 
Um, I have this cap. These caps are different. You can't really replace this with any because the middle bearing is very small. No really caps can fit on it. Plus, I lost the other cap to this. When I did have it, though, when I tried to put it back, it just didn't work. I don't know who took it off and why, but, um, yeah. This was actually one of the best ones because it was heavy. See these, see these, um, not bearings, but, um, weights. And, um, yeah, these are, this is a really nice fidget spinner. Fidget, fidget spinner. I'm just kidding. Fidget spinner. But, um, yeah, this was, this was one of my favorites. Because when you spin it, like, one of the, one of the coolest things to do when you spin it is, like, how I'll show you. Now, let's take this one, for example, and, like, okay. This one isn't that heavy. When you do this, like this, like, that really, that feels really good, because you can feel, like, the, the, um, like, the weight, like, the weight transition, like, it's changing. Like, when you do this. Like, just kind of move your head, hand subtly, subtly, just like, do this with it. And, like, you can feel it, and it feels really good. And it was better with this one because it was heavy, so you could really feel it. And it felt, like, you can see why it relieves stress and stuff like that. But anyways, yeah, this time, Castaway Bench really out.